Hello, and welcome to Tracy Momi Reads. Today, I am going to be talking about some of my favorite coffee table books. I know this is probably a weird um, topic, but I have some cool books that I wanted to share with you guys. Some of the books, I mean, I just bought them for aesthetics, but a lot of them, I they're kind of like collector's items, and I have actually read them, or at minimum, read through them. So one of the first books that I wanted to share, not sure if uh, a lot of you know this, but in addition to just loving 90s R&B music and 80s pop music, I'm also a huge fan of hip hop from like the golden era, like in the 80s, early 90s. So when I saw this book, Hip Hop at the End of the World, oh my gosh. And it's uh, the photography of Ernie Panish. Panicholi or Spicoli, I'm so sorry, I know I'm butchering his name, but this is um, Queen Latifah and MC Light on the cover, you know, two iconic female rappers, and the book itself, it is, it is just beautiful, I don't know if I can accurately, you know, share or flip through some of the pictures for you to be able to see the photos that are in here, just of like some iconic Rap Legends, uh, I think that's Method Man and Red Man, there's Ice-T, but th these are a lot of, um, that's Kid and Play and Will Smith. Um, there's just a lot of pictures in here, like never before, uh, never before seen photos, behind the scenes type photos, a lot of concert footage and, you know, like, um, I guess, uh, photos from like celebrities being in the dressing room and things like this. Like I've never seen this photo before. That's of um, Tupac and Yo-Yo. So yeah, this book, it is just, it's beautiful. Like it, I wanna say, let me see how many pages it has in here. With the, um, of actual photos, there's like 301 pages. I mean, it, that, it's crazy how many pages are in here. Then there's like, of course, all the acknowledgements and things like that. Look at this picture of salt and pepper. Yeah, this, this book is incredible and it is definitely, definitely worth the purchase if uh, if it's not something that you have uh, in your collection and if you're you know a big fan of old school hip-hop there's one here of the Beastie Boys yeah this is just an amazing book and again um, it's called hip-hop at the end of the world okay another book that I have it's called bad girls throughout history by Ann Shin bad girls throughout history this is a beautiful book also i've read through this and some of the stories i was already familiar with but there's just a variety of women in here who like have kind of made their mark you know who have made their mark in the world uh throughout history like uh this and they're all illustrations of the women so like this one is of georgia o'keefe and then they have like this little thing here it says mother of american modernist art and then there's like you know, information about her life and maybe some of the highlights of things that she, you know, did or how she contributed to the world at large. Um, there's like Selena is in here. Um, there's a picture of her. Um, who else? Let's see. I know there's like Maya Angelou, Rosa Parks. And here's one of Maya Angelou's. But yeah, this is a really good one also. It's like 100 Remarkable Women Who Changed the World. And this one is called Bad Girls Throughout History. Another one that is in the same vein of kind of uh, talking about women, but these are actually everyday women who may not be as famous or infamous as people in the other book, but they've made um, strides and a difference in their communities and, you know, uh, or maybe just have uh, overcome challenges and different things in their life. And this one is called in the company of women, and it's inspiration and advice from over 100 exceptional and influential women. And they just kind of talk about how they, you know, got to where they are and how they started their businesses or how they became leaders in their field. And this is also a um, beautifully um, photographed uh, book, for example. Samin Nothrat, she's a chef and an author, and so like this would be her story, and um, you know, telling how she, um, what she does in her daily life, and how she became, 
well known or how she started her business or what inspired her to become a chef you know things like that just everyday stories from people here's another lady she's a jewelry designer in brooklyn so this is a really good one as well um another book that i have had forever another book that i've had forever on my table is um it's a it's from uh, Essence magazine and it's called Wisdom of the Ages: Extraordinary People from 19 to 90. So they just have a lot of uh, black celebrities in this particular book, and it's old now. It was it, see this came out in 2003, so I've had this book a very long time because there's Bernie Mac, rest in peace. But it's just like where they've talked to you know some celebrities, and then they'll have like their names in here and some advice, and they ask them like some life questions like. Tyrese, you know, at the time he was 25, and um, they may ask him about, you know, on finding his faith, what are his thoughts about faith, finding a mentor, mentor, you know, things like that. I'm trying to see who else may be in here. Um, and even there, all the people actually aren't celebrities, because there's a lady here, she was 83 at the time, Marjorie Newland, and she was a um, one of the oldest female bodybuilders. Um, so yeah, it's just a variety of people uh, all African American who have achieved some measure of success uh, in their life in some way, shape, or form, and just kind of advice on how they made it to where they where they were at the time. But this is like again, the thing that gets me with a lot of the um, coffee table books. I like the photography, you know, things that you can kind of flip through and you know um, look at images of people, things, and uh, look at how the photographer was able to capture a moment. That's the thing I love about books. But then also when they they also combine that with inspiration, it's like a win-win. So two more I want to share with you guys. Um, this one is, you know, I don't know if you know this about me either, but huge Prince fan. Um, and after, I think, I don't know if I got, I think this one was published after his death. Yeah, this one is called Prince Before the Rain. These four photos taken and compiled by a photographer by the name of Alan Bolu or Bilu. I'm like, <laughs> you know me and that Texas twang. But anyway, all of the pictures in here are prior to when uh, Purple Rain came out. So that's why it kind of alludes to the title, Before the Rain. So before, you know, the movie and the soundtrack that came out, which would change the trajectory of Prince's life, we kind of sneak peek at, you know, him as an artist and the things that he did before then and, and just kind of leading up to it. And these pictures, again, I mean, are incredible. Look at that. These are some photos from, I guess, the um, 1999 era, when, the album 1999, not the year. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of never before seen photographs. And so I really love this one. It, uh, you know, it's cool to kind of, you know, being a fan, kind of look back at an era that is long gone. Um, look at those eyes. My God, this, this man, so much um, history in here. Uh, like I said, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of, um, look at this picture of him in Mars Day. You know, just a lot of really cool photos. So this one is one, if you're a Prince fan, definitely worth adding to your collection. And then the final book. This one is, I don't know if it's so much a coffee table book, but I do kind of have it categorized and with the other books. This one is by Seth Godin and it's called What to Do When It's Your Turn. And when this book first came out, like you bought one and he gave you one free. And I've since, you know, and his whole purpose was so that you could give it away to someone. So I've since, you know, gifted that to someone else. But the thing about this book, it's part book, part coffee table book. It's just a different type of format. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Like, I mean, there's like big pictures and quotes and stuff, but then it's also dispersed with very short inspirational stories and um, a lot of information about people who took chances and did things to better the, uh, you know, the world or better their conditions or that led by example or led by inspiration. Like for example, this woman here on the front cover, uh, her name's Annie Kennedy, who died about 70 years ago. She was a mill worker in England, a member of the downtrodden working class and an early suffragette. So, you know, and she talked about, it talks about how she went to Parliament and asked 
you know, about the women's right to vote. So it was just an average woman who, you know, spoke up when it was her turn. She spoke up and didn't let um, the moment pass her by. And that is, in effect, what this book is about. It is amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still in print. So I would definitely, definitely think about getting a copy of this if you're looking for a different type of inspirational book um, that's kind of to the point, really quick, you know, that you can um, read in one sitting or that you can share. There's a lot of tweetable stuff in here, Instagramable stuff, you know, like quotes and stuff that you can share with people. So yeah, that's the last one that I wanted to share. But yeah, I don't know if you have any favorite coffee table books or books, you know, similar to the ones that I've shared. Uh, I would love to, you know, get a few titles from you guys to add to my collection. So just drop a title and the author in the comments and make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great weekend.